the song concludes. Let's right, get this party rocking and rolling with a five pack of posts tonight for you on the Red Fast Review. The return of Pleated Pants, fresh back from his trip that he was meeting with Jerry Jones on the Cowboys head coaching position that Mike uh, McCarthy is surely going to be fired at some point soon. We'll get to that shortly. Episode 93, Bottle of Bordeaux. Uh, let's go around the horn. Please, you're right next to me. We usually go clockwise. Moose is typically in that spot. Let's let's start it off with Mr. Pants. How are you? Welcome back. Oh, man. Like, um, have I been all over the place in the last couple months between current girlfriend meeting my family and me meeting current girlfriend's family and deciding to stay a little bit of extra time over New Year's Eve down there in Arkansas land. Um, I have not been by the computer at all, but everything's awesome. Um, I cannot complain, and there might be a jack wagon course finally up for the first time Ooh. in ages. Ooh. You heard it here first. You know, and promise there'll be more. I'll do better. Not to please play. Yeah, we're so glad to have you back. And you know, it's it's the most important thing. We you know you hear it all the time from a lot of people here. And thank you very much, Rob. And a lot of new names here, first time chatters. Thank you, thank you. Um, mental health is just so so important so like you know i think all of us kind of preach it you know so getting that right headspace stepping away we saw earlier today a tweet uh from side pod saying he was struggling a little bit so uh you know um thinking of him but um you know uh glad to have you back and more importantly glad to have you in a great headspace uh, you know what we look forward to the addition especially to the trivia team later on the pod will certainly be yeah there. <laughs> all right i'll keep drinking <laughs> oh, uh -oh. moose how are things in your neck of the woods after playing a little bit of mafia Have yeah yeah finally start turning around a little bit more <laughs> finally uh <laughs> beat that this weekend dude i'm still shook that i could go back there because i guarantee like any other I, I guess it's different because it wasn't a totally new chapter, right? Just a new checkpoint. But yeah, thank God we listened to Kilbride for once because mine's still be on that level trying to <laughs> trying to run that with uh, seven pistol rounds. But yeah, I got done with some Mafia Sunday. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Had a couple away games for work this weekend, so it was pretty light. Uh, those went okay. Um, and yeah, then that, not too much, just hanging out. Um, yeah, I want to talk about you playing Mafia much. for a second. Okay. <clears throat> I, I think I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? It's uh, the time I choose to switch to certain weapons. Are we going to bring that conversation up? Just your overall decision oh, making. Boy. Yeah. When I was in chat, I said that if this was a reason, if this for some reason in a mad universe, this was somehow uh, your resume for decision making. I wouldn't even trust you to mop my goddamn floor. I remember that. That was a good one. <laughs> you are you, you, three, 30 feet away. Oh, I, I know. I'll go with my fucking shotgun and try to pepper <laughs> this guy to death. Oh, God. There's two guys coming up the stairs right next to each other. Better switch to my snub nose revolver. It's, <laughs> it is. The most pain. Not to mention like I your said, obsession with Maltoffs. The more I, I haven't, oh I've never heard God. someone say Maltoff dude. more in my entire life. Yet you, dude, I don't think you. Maltoffs are so Maltoffs. good. No, Moose will throw Molotovs at the single guy mm. instead of the two guys <laughs> standing next to each other next to a flaming barrel. <laughs> and Moose insists on a, on hiding behind cover where mm -hmm. multiple people can see him and shoot him at the same <laughs> time, as opposed to hiding in a space where he's isolated and only one person can shoot him, and and he can only shoot at one person. My other... favorite part, aside from the assassination clip where you played that Shannon Point Redemption, was I went back in the clips, and I know I do this a lot. I did it a lot as a kid, and I still do it when you're like trying to peek around a corner, but you're physically your leaning with your body. Oh my god! This is Moose <laughs> hiding behind cover. Where's my fucking controller? This is Moose hiding behind cover, trying to peek around the edge. <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works. Watching you play so Mafia cool. was like watching my dad play PUBG. Not, <laughs> like, Daddy's behind the tree. The other tree. <laughs> keep 
the other tree. The other right. That's left. I like, put the controller up to block the shots. Yeah. 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 I, I did just start playing Escape from Tarkov, so maybe we'll fire that up on stream. We can I see how the holy shit actually of, of Escape from Tarkov. I don't know what that gets me still, but I yeah, wouldn't I mind trying to get back into that. I must say though, it was captivating watching you. Oh wait. Like, I was fun. Damn second that Twitch let me. Yeah. Excellent. Comment. We uh yeah, we'll we'll be getting more into it. It'll not Mafia because Mafia Three is uh very obscene, um and racist. It's, it's, it's but, historically uh, accurate. It you know, yeah, you could say that. Um, it's, but Hit Hitman Three yeah. is a lot more uh strategic, and even just by playing the first, attempting to finish the first lo level and being very overwhelmed, it uh it'll be more uh, more great content. I really forward, want so. to find the clip real quick before we move on. Uh, of Moose's Mafia stream that we captured uh, the other day. Let me find it real Did quick. Did you end up playing Hitman Moose in Uber? Do I sound better? I yeah, I attempted the first level. Maybe um, check Discord. That was absolutely massive. Um, I explored. I got the controls down a little bit, and then I realized I'm already like three hours into the stream, and it might take us another hour just to finish this mission. So um, <laughs> that's where we're gonna pick up Wednesday. Lovely. This is this is this is how this is like in a single player game Moose somehow had us all involved. Oh my breath. That's that a good one. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good. That was great. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was the hilarious fact, too? Was he, he, you know he was waiting for the headshot to too. Oh, that was even better too. Oh, you yeah. know the moose was going for the headshot, but he had to shoot. I was like, oh, I gotta hurry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta get it on the timing too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Really good. The, the, the smile right there. Yeah, he's like, I got him. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> Oh, man. You may have seen just there the old tra Kaz trivia gauntlet. We're going to be doing that towards the end of the pod. We're going to be talking some golf and football. Um, so we'll, we'll kick off to Mr. Rob right now. He's prepping for his big trivia tournament of champions tomorrow. Is that the uh, big do item on the docket your way? Yeah, the night of champions. That is everything. Um, also, we just got word we got accepted into San Francisco's biggest beer festival uh, of the year. Uh, yeah. This month on the twenty eighth, uh, upwards of five thousand people will be. Is it a uh, like indoor outdoor mixed kind of venue? Or well, unfortunately, it's mostly indoor, which is uh, a little unfortunate. But it is what mm -hmm. it is. Um, uh, it's uh, goes from eleven in the morning to eleven p.m. So love that. Damn. All you can drink. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Uh, very and then. Nice. Uh, SF Beer Week is two weeks after that, where I'm having eight events in nine days. Mm. So that's what I've done to myself. going to be working like an animal uh, soon enough, but that's you, what always I do best. you always are. Yep. Bear? Coming straight off of work. Not to mention uh, yeah. an exhausting stream probably this weekend. Man's been grinding. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, that that the Saturday night special is one thing that I look forward to every week. Even with uh, Sunday, I had to um, do family Christmas at my mother's, who I have not spoken to in four months. Mm. So after we had a little bit of a fallout, we talked about that on Twitter Smash and on the Red Fest. Video games, dude. Oh, what? And we ended up, um, it wasn't terrible. It, it, it was kind of awkward, but at the same time, it was like, you know, everything that popped off Saturday, it was like, th this is cool. Like, well, whatever happens, it's going to happen. You know, mm -hmm. that bear, bear den strong. So very, very, uh, did you leave it in a, at, at a good place? Then? We'll see. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You're happy with it. That's a, nothing got thrown. Nothing like you know. Oh, 
that was very loud. I apologize. So, I didn't realize. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So and then today had to uh, speak to all of my bosses about things going on in the real world, and uh, that seemed to go well too. So yeah. Well, you know, you, you Mister Kilbride. Um. Well, I had like a little baby brigade on uh, Sun yesterday. I met my buddy's like Congrats. three month old daughter. Um, my son was there, and then another seven month old that we went to Saratoga with. So it was a little baby brunch. Unfortunately, the little guy's under the weather a little bit. He's he's just got a lingering <laughs> cough, and it's just you know just more frightening to us. We've been trying to teach him how to um, eat solid foods, but he has very strong resistance to them at the moment. He's he's all about the puree. He was really into the big uh, sweet potato corn tonight, but. You know, daycare is, uh, this is the first, you're gonna, everyone's probably gonna hate me for this. This is the yeah. first oh, five day yeah. week I have at work since he was born because I strategically took off, uh, days in December where I wasn't on leave and, uh, you know, worked it around the holidays, short weeks, uh, but he's fully at daycare now. So, or, I say fully three days a week. My mother's watching them two days. So kind of figuring that stuff out. Got the new snowblower, uh, tested that out, took down Christmas decoration. So it was, it was a lot of miscellaneous stuff around the house and uh, also working on some TikTok stuff, you know, learning some new techniques mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, trying to post one a week and uh, just post the one earlier on the uh, um, new Red Fast Review course, the Grim Reaper, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, and I also watched the Century Tournament of Champions. I don't know if you guys caught um, any of this tournament, but it was in Kapalua. Uh, oop, I am on the wrong screen here. Cut off, pleaded. Let's bring him in. <laughs> that was kind of cool. That it? was actually really cool. Wasn't that it was. cool? Let's go back. <laughs> because you were like, let's, and let's, there let's, he is. <laughs> and let's bring him back in. That's the old. Can we do that with most when it says something stupid? <laughs> Anyways, um, John Rahm ends up winning, and he had a big comeback on Sunday. Shoots a 63-10 under final round. Colin Morikawa um, really kind of choked on the back nine. Uh, he, he had a big lead going into the day. I think it was like a three- or four-stroke lead, um, if I'm not mistaken. And um, Rahm on the back nine, he, you know, he went 31 coming in, uh, six under, as opposed to Morikawa, who went plus two, 39, including Three straight bogeys. Um, very fun course. The 18th hole is near 700 yards, yet everyone reaches it in two because there is about, I don't know, 100 plus feet of elevation drop. And on top of it, the, mm. there's like a um, a speed slot that they all hit. Like Rom almost, I remember in round one or two, he almost missed the fairway to the right. Like it was a complete shank. He was about to hit one VT. Uh, because he thought he went OB, ends up barely hitting the top of the hill, hits the speed slot, and ends up being 420 yards at the bottom left part of the fairway. <laughs> and then he hits Jeez. the green yes. too, oh. nearly has an eagle. That course is known to be pretty easy unless it's windy. Mm-hmm. There have been years that the course is unplayable when the wind is coming in certain directions. So, yeah, with more Kawa, you know, making three straight bogeys in a row on that course on the back nine like that's like just a death sentence to not win a golf tournament yeah on top of you know you get rom chasing you i mean i guess rom's out there ahead of you but you know posting that number on on the uh on the day is just something uh on top of bogeying the first hole 11 under through the final seven um really nice tournament he's playing well uh we're getting into the swing of things pga tour is kind of starting starting back up um, one I was thing, gonna say, didn't the 2K sponsored Matt Fitzpatrick do pretty decent? Um, maybe I saw his name somewhere. I mean, T7, yeah, was, you consider that decent? I mean, it was a relatively small yeah. field, so I mean, I, I mean, I would consider that decent. But um, what was I gonna say? One thing that I thought has been interesting, and maybe it's just me, I have not heard a single thing about the Live Tour lately. Have you guys? Maybe it's just oh, yeah. the off season and they're just spending all the millions and millions of dollars. 
have been, has I thought I saw one thing on um a, on something the day that someone from the PGA, some PGA tour guy said the live people just took away a lot of assholes or something like that. <laughs> they took all the assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh man. Well, we do have um football winding down here, so it's 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 worth uh Thank noting we have the God. Current, currently the college football playoff ongoing. Live update says Georgia is winning twenty-four to seven. Um hey, hey Bears got TCU plus eighteen and a half, so yeah, yeah. You really? Yep. That's a lot of fucking points. That's a lot of points in a championship George game. Is pretty darn good. <laughs> I hey, think they, I think they might beat the uh, like mm, Chicago Bears right now. <laughs> Put Nathan Listen, that, in, that, in the Chicago Bears oh, versus that team. Give me. I cannot wait. To, can we talk about the? Can we just open up against the fucking Bears versus Texans, please? That was that was the, the that was the best thing for Lovey Smith. Can I please? Yeah, the Texans may be. Um, uh, the dumbest franchise in the world. Mm. Well, does Lovey do that to fuck them over, knowing he's going to get fired? Or yeah. do you think he got fired because he went for two? I, I think he got fired because they they won. Like that's it. Like so, if they lose that match, do you think he still? If they lose that game, does he still have a job? No. Oh, no I mean, <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> he was he was yeah. dead in the water anyway. Understand. So knowing that he's going to get fired. Yeah, he goes for two. Well, yeah, yeah, he, he, gave the, he gave his old team. Oh yeah, love. You would have been that man. Is, do we think that, that man's that's a what legend? Do it. That man is a legend in Chicago you know, forever. You know yeah. what he would have could have done to maybe save his job? Literally go out there for the extra point and take a knee. Just be so blatantly obvious about it. I am here oh, to man. get the number one pick in the draft, and then like management would be like, you know what? There's no way. There's no way he saves his job. Those players would never, yeah, ever come back to play for him. Yeah. Um. They must really think that Davis Mills is a quarterback of the future because they're not getting what's his name because the Bears are going to trade that thing and bring in a bevy of picks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's going to be very they'll interesting. Get, get, too. Depending on who they go to, they'll probably move back a few picks. And then get maybe a, another late first rounder, depending on the team, and then a couple second round. It's going to be great. It's a very exciting time to be a Chicago Bears fan. Yeah. The uh, 3 and 14 Bears have the number one overall pick. The 3 13 1 Texans have the number two. Arizona Cardinals also don't need a quarterback. So, I mean, who's the last one the drafted? They need a head coach. Who are the who was was Deshaun the last quarterback the Texans drafted? Like high, probably. I don't recall one well, after yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They well, didn't da- draft you know, past. I mean, they drafted Davis Mills, right? Mills is Davis actually Mills. Like second second year, and I think uh, he was like a second or third round pick. That's still pretty high. Uh, third round pick, twenty twenty one, so two years ago. Um, you know who wasn't and, not committed. You know who wasn't picked but, that high. Brock Purdy. Yeah, Mr. Irrelevant. We'll get to the playoffs in just a moment. I was going to say, while we stroke Rob's ego, can we uh, also give Rob props for immediately calling out who was going to be the first asshole to make an inappropriate tweet about... Uh, yeah, it didn't take long either. About oh, him. The, uh, Jamar Hamlin situation <laughs> live on pod last week. Too. I said... <laughs> I, so Moose or Bear asked, who's going to be the first asshole to mention mm-hmm. fantasy football? Mm-hmm. Word for word, I said, I don't know, but I guarantee Skip Bayless is going to be the first one to have to issue an apology. You less didn't even... Than, t- <laughs> le- less than five minutes after we end the podcast, I pull up Twitter, and the thing at the top of my headline is, Skip Bayless, uh, I'd like to apologize for the context, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yep. As I was like, this fucking guy... Did you did you see Moose put it in the, in the group chat oh, later the fucking... of of the very the next day when oh. when Shannon comes back and Shannon goes oh, that too, I took yeah. yesterday off because I didn't want and Skip interrupts him and he goes I, I can't even get yeah, through monologue was so it's uncomfortable like... that like whole exchange back and forth like he was livid at Skip. Well, did you see Michael Strahan? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, what did yeah. Strahan do? 
So Michael Strahan's on Fox's I, pregame I put it in show, the obviously. Discord. So that so lets you know, Moose. Skip, Skip Bayless. <laughs> Skip Bayless says nobody else in the network had a problem with it. Okay, that's what he said against mm-hmm. to Shannon Sharp. That was Thursday. No, that was Monday or Wednesday. Sunday morning rolls around and fucking uh, Michael Strahan goes on a fucking tirade about somebody at the network. Obviously, Skip. He goes, and this person says uh, they talked to everybody at the network. Hey, they didn't talk to me. I had a big problem with it. Like, Let's <laughs> fucking go. <laughs> yeah, Skip but uh, you know, I mean, we can kind of laugh and joke a little bit more humanity. about it now that we know Demar's health is, you know, in, in a much better place, and it was a uh, very, very scary. I would have bet, but uh, I would have bet every dollar in my fucking bank account that he was dead. On the field, yeah, it, it it did not. I I watched after the pod, and I was definitely pretty shook watching that back. Um, and uh, yeah, and, and no, here's what I'll real say: quick, big shout out yeah. to all the first, like all oh, the yeah. medical staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in a week where it's so important, just the worst thing you could possibly do is shove one of them. Mm-hmm. Who would uh, do yeah. that, right? Yeah, yeah. There, go Petco. Um, what I will say is remember this because now that time is going to pass. When Buffalo gets into the AFC championship, all right, and people are arguing over neutral sites and everything, you are gonna see every single person that was like prayers up for prayers up for Damar, mm. they're gonna say some very hurtful and hateful shit. Here's what you do, folks. Ignore it. Block them. So, okay. Uh Bear, just to kind of elaborate. So, if Buffalo won that game, would they be the one seed right now? Because they would have been tied with KC and would have won the tiebreaker. Correct. I don't know because I think that that was the whole reason why they said it had to go to neutral site. I know who won. Is the yeah, first because Buffalo because beat they, them. They beat them. Yeah, the Buffalo season, beat them. right? Yeah, head to head's the yes. first tiebreaker, so they would have tied. Yeah, and and won on head to head. Yeah, so that's the big thing. And then Jim Ursay already came out and said, you're not using Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. So Why? Detroit is also having it's construction so done. So the two domed stadiums that are your midway points have both said, fuck off. So you can't look at Minnesota because Minnesota might actually have a game. <laughs> No, they won't. Uh, oh my New god. Orleans. Minnesota. Minnesota. New Orleans. I I oh god, Bill's Mafia down there. Ooh. Oh yeah, that'd be vicious. Come to New England. <laughs> a nice fun place. <laughs> Anyways, here's the playoff picture. Uh, we've been dwindling on for a while. Casey locks up the one seed, two, three, Bill's Bengals from that Monday night game. No, no real big surprises there. Uh, Bills do knock off the Patriots um, yesterday. Uh, Jags, the Jacksonville Jaguars are in the playoffs for the first time what seems like forever. Trevor Lawrence has that offense kind of buzzing uh, along with Doug Peterson, obviously the head coach, um, calling the plays. That their, their weapons really seem to have been coming on the second half of the year between Christian Kirk, um, Travis Etienne, and uh, there was another receiver there, uh, Zay Jones. What a revitalization by Zay Jones. He went to like three or four different teams before he found anything and uh, had a really nice stretch um, down the end there. They're going to be playing the Chargers, who foolishly might have gotten Mike Williams seriously injured yesterday. I saw him like in a cart in the locker room. I, I don't know if you guys saw that. <laughs> Brandon Staley is one of the dumbest coaches I've yeah, ever nothing seen. to play for, nothing. No, and and here's the one thing. Again, here here's your two minutes of Browns talk. Everyone would shit on the Browns for them blowing that Jets game. What people forgot was two weeks later, Brandon Staley, up two, only two points. L- ladies and gentlemen, a field goal is worth three, if you're new, for, for our people over the pond. He goes for it on fourth and two on his own 30 and they don't get it and the Which only reason the, uh, the the browns chargers like week Got five it. or I, six yep. i just can't believe we're talking about the playoffs and bear somehow is trying to make this about, about the browns, the browns. <laughs> no i i'm explaining why brandon staley is so dumb 
that they shouldn't even be there. Like, he's lucky that the Browns are going to Brown, and they didn't even need to move the ball forward. They couldn't go backwards. It went backwards, and the kicker missed a 52-yarder. But he just makes some of the dumbest decisions. Way and for him to play Mike Williams, uh, for him to play anyone. Keenan Allen is like uh, injured every freaking game of the entire year, and he was suited up yesterday. It's like, what are you doing, bud? Like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Shut everybody down. Do exactly what the New York Giants did and still almost won the game. And, and fuck over the 49ers. Yeah. But could you imagine <laughs> if, if uh, Dallas didn't win the division <laughs> in the, in oh. the Eagles lost? Oh, my God. McCarthy should have been fired before the playoff. But I'll let Pleated you know, chime in on that. Dal- Dallas Pleated? You know what he says is I'm more worried about them playing the Bucks next week than I do the Eagles in uh, um, uh, two I weeks because we – seem to beat teams that were better than and we we've have wins against you know the eagles and the vikings this year tom brady nighttime monday never lost to the cowboys oh monday night football have have they they've never done this before correct i i saw monday night on the schedule and i'm like is that real i don't know I, I think it's with the new super wild card that they do it. But okay, yeah, pleaded, will you be will you be joining us next Monday? Um, am I here next? Yeah, like I'll I'll be here. <laughs> I think. Oh man, yeah. Live do you want to football with with Moose and Kilbride? Well, Moose, I don't think I'll root for Tom. Time, but yeah, exactly. He'll sit there and be like, yeah. "Tom's good looking," but like, <laughs> God, Tom, you're so hot. <laughs> I'll be rooting for the Rob's Niners who lock up the two seed, even, even though Rob's a little dis- disappointed that they couldn't get the one. Uh, Giants don't, don't even attempt to try against the Eagles because rightfully so, they had nothing to play for, although it would be screwing up a divisional uh, opponent. So, I mean, how much, you know, kind of like the Lions last night, you could have kind of ruined their playoffs a little bit. Um, so there, there's definitely something to play for, but you're actually going to be in the playoffs in this situation. So um, a little bit different situa- uh, situation for the Giants. So I, I agree with Dayball benching people. Um, the Niners under Brock Purdy look damn good. And uh, I wonder what the odds are in the Super Bowl. Like, I kind of pulled them up here. Are you guys um, the the Bucks, the Bucks had the best long shot odds. If you're sitting there. But everyone else is is around plus six hundred. Rob Seamounts in chat, would you uh like to address your Seattle uh counterpart. you know Okay, Moose said counterpart, we'll go with it. Uh guess what? I'm not writing Geno Smith back either. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, we've beat him twice already. We can beat him again. Especially Gino, here. No, Gino. Oh my god. Why? Hold on. Why in the flying fuck nope. do you have do a Geno Smith, Smith jersey? Yeah. Were, they, were, they, were they running out of toilet paper during your last fucking hurricane? Are you a, are you a big West Virginia fan? No, it, it, was, it was an argument I had with my friends for a while. Right? So I I kept saying, he I'm like, dared this guy, me to Gino buy a Smith, Gino I don't Smith think jersey. is that bad. And everyone keeps knocking him off. And this was when he was with the Jets and looked like shit. And I'm like, I really feel like it's, it's the coaching, the offensive line. Everything's kind of letting him down. <laughs> and then I just happened to stumble. I went to Hampton Beach, which if you know the New England <laughs> area, is, it is a grimy place. Some guy oh. is uh, selling uh, jerseys on on the uh, uh, you know on one of those stands that you just walk up to on the beach, and and like half of them are like twenty bucks, fifteen bucks, and I stumble upon this one, and it says fifteen bucks, and I'm like, I'll give you a five oh, for it. Steel. He said deal. I'm like, okay, sweet. I got a five dollar <laughs> authentic Jets jersey. Yeah, and it's for, like, kind <laughs> of a meme it. for my friends. So. Um, but that at the same time, funny. he ends up turning out a four thousand yard season a few years later with the Seahawks. Well, a lot of years later, uh, still. Um, 
I thought it was kind of funny at the time. But I do have a lot of random jerseys. Anyways. I, uh, I don't think that... I, the 49ers are the team to beat. I agree. We have the most total package. Well, in the NFC, I do. Kansas yeah, City scares I mean, the living hell out of me. But, I, I mean, it's, it's mainly because you're, go, you're going Brock Purdy versus Patrick Mahomes. Purdy's looked damn good, but he's got, what, four games of a track record as opposed to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. It's hard to make that uh, leap for me. But We'll see. What does LFF stand for? The Super Bowl uh, number. Oh, LFF is the name of the Super Bowl this oh, year. L V I I. I'm sorry, I don't know where you're saying. LF, LFF is probably supposed to be LFG. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Lincoln Financial Field. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Run, rundown oh. is is rundown a real Philly fan? Because in Philly they call it the link. Yeah, like, I yeah. Maybe Rundown's a, a fraud of a Philly fan. Like, can, can I tell you guys? Have I told the story about the first time I ever went to Philadelphia on the do. podcast was, before? No. I went to. I, I went to talk. I flew, I flew into Philadelphia. I flew into Philadelphia to go down to Ocean City, Maryland, where Toxic got married. Okay, so oh, I yeah, naturally yeah. wanted to. Mm. I already know that Philadelphia is full of frauds and Philly cheese steaks aren't that great. So <laughs> I went to the train. I went to the underground market uh, to go to a place called Denix that has a roast pork sandwich. Okay. They um, Denix is amazing. Yeah. They were closed. Mm. So naturally, I have to go just, I have to fucking eat my pride and just go to Pat's uh, or Gino's. Pat's wasn't no, open. So Jim's, I, Jim's is really close to. Uh, um, I also want to go to. I, I I would also would have preferred to go to Tony, Tony something's Tony Soprano. No, there's no. Way. Anyway, <laughs> as this is neither here nor there. I land. I get my rental car. I'm going over the bridge. I'm going. I'm passing. Every billboard in Philadelphia is telling people not to litter. Okay, every <laughs> billboard is saying please don't litter. Please don't litter. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is wrong with these people that like that where there has to be this much public service announcements to not litter like who the fuck what kind of people are dumb enough to still be littering and so i'm like okay i mean i guess it's a problem i'm driving past the link on my left i'm going over the bridge in the downtown philadelphia in front of me a guy takes an entire bag of dunkin donuts trash oh, and no. throws it through the top of his sunroof you're kidding me the wind blows it into the car next to me Hits his fucking windshield and explodes in a confetti bomb of wrappers and crumbs and styrofoam and melted cheese and and batteries. Like it, it, batteries. I'm like, okay, I'm just like, okay, this this is this is why this is why Philadelphia has a fucking littering problem because they're just fucking awful people. <laughs> and when you won the Super Bowl, people ate shit out of the asses of horses. I know. That... They had to grease the poles because you f idiots. That fucking... still doesn't work. They need to figure that out. <laughs> just, if there was one city to, to, like, maybe you're just too close to Jersey or something. If there's one city that could <laughs> just slowly fade into the ocean, Philadelphia could be the one. Sadly, isn't San Fran on the verge of doing that anyway? <laughs> Florida is sinking. We're, yeah. we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're fine. All right. Well, let's get into some golf talk. We've been dwindling along um, quite a while here. We had a couple Platinum Tour events this past week. We had a Tournament of Champions event, which we saw a resurgence of none other than the man Sloaner. We had a handful of tournaments named after him before, so mm. we gave the other Plat event um, gentlemen. Uh, a newcomer, the uh, name of the pod, Mr. Sloaner, 49 under, heck of a tournament. Um, double bogey at, uh, at the beginning, too. Um, but quickly followed that up with uh, Birdie Birdie Eagle and uh, was able to bounce back. This was on, where was this played? We know. Um, the Koenig Fields. Interesting. I don't think I recognize that name, but... Um, that was one of the first tournaments we had when they were uh, play testing the conditions and everything. Mm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Whoa, Sloaner. We're playing in rain? Yeah, round four. 
Jeez, this is the most I've been able to see Sloaner on a stream in a long time. I know. He's like lit up. Probably right, all of his child monitors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Out of the bunker and in. The birdie. Decent little streak Still there. The same amount of emotion. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, he, man, just. He's a grinder. I mean, probably 3 a.m. with all three asleep. I mean, run, run down noise gate number one. Sloner is clearly number two. <laughs> so, Miss the hottest player potentially on all of virtual golf right now, Mr. Cox. They're coming off a win in platinum last week. Gets second place in the Champions event. Here's one of his shots uh, from the event, from the heavy rough. And on top of that, for jump forward, might be pretty good. Go in, Maybe. just go in. Oh my no. God. Let's go! <laughs> <Amazing work. laughs> hot, you yeah, hot. When you're feeling it, you're feeling it. And uh, Cox there is certainly feeling it right now. 47 under. Uh, second place by a wide margin. Five stroke lead over Love Scud. Uh, materializations in there. Um, fifth place in uh, Eric Lofstrom, named Eric, recent, recent winner as well. Um, 44 under. On the normal, the non-champion tour event, we had Nick Bordeaux, uh, hence the name Bottle, Bottle of Bordeaux, win by a wide margin uh, on this one as oh, also wow. six-stroke lead over Hippie Stein, 62 under. And let's take a quick look at his scorecard, all painted in blue, Ooh. including three eagles in a row. We do have some of those here for you. Uh, this is the eight. Oh, is it order? Eight hole. right order. Nick Bordeaux tee shot on hole number eight. Commentary from Pat. A long time. par three. Bounce on, just oh, die wow. on that slope, and then it rolls. Is he narrating this live? Slowly yeah. for the ace. No, 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 no. He goes back. What a no. ace by Nick Bordeaux. Oh, yeah, but. He hasn't seen the shot On hole before. number eight, he's now at six yeah, under goes, for the he round. He in fast-forwarding, knowing exactly where the yeah. shot's going to be. Yeah. 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 But, <laughs> love it, Pat. Uh, and then, this is the very next hole. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is the tenth hole. One moment. That's the wrong order. There we go. Here's the ninth hole. Teeing it up on the eighth oh, hole. Yeah, the eighth hole, eighth hole twice. He fast-forwarded. Pat redid it for us, so we didn't have the fast-forwarded clip. Good man, mm -hmm. Pat. I gave up. It's fine. We're near two. two Number the ten. Show. And that was a chip from... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that is three consecutive double circle on the card, turning a four under start to seven holes to a ten under. Six at the ten. Under three and then... Why do I feel like he has a hand this was the... cigarette hanging out of the corner of his mouth at all times? <laughs> <laughs> I mean that with all due respect. Oh, the best. Yeah, no, he was right. <laughs> He's right, though. Uh, four under through seven quickly turns to ten under through ten. Um, that certainly sparked a oh, Look at the, the birdie streak between the end of round one and the start of round two is just nuts. Yeah. My God. 16 consecutive birdies. Oops. Chill out, man. Imagine having a Can you make an eagle holes. in those 16 holes? What's that? Man. No, I know, right? He's yeah, didn't even make an eagle. Fell off his pace. No more than 21 Jeez. putts around. He missed four greens all tournament. That's incredible. 94% what, like round. two fairways, probably? Oh my god. And yeah, he missed uh, no, one. Because that's probably oh, wow. one over 14. That's incredible. One missed fairway all round. Wow. <laughs> See, Mount goes, I would be hammered. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Yeah, imagine three consecutive. This game, uh, well, not completely out of nowhere. T23, T16, and then first. Let's take a peek at. Uh, quietly snuck up there. Yeah. Let's take a look at. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We didn't check in on our plaque correspondent. Let's go back. I don't have to. Oh, T16, that's not that bad. I thought that, I thought you were getting chirped for a bad score. 48 under is a damn good score, uh, Bear. Out of 
If no, it isn't. Know. Everyone tells me I'm shit. No one likes me. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. So bad. I like Every, you. Listen, do Bear, I don't things. give a fuck about this game. I like you. <laughs> you know, um, uh, you being shit and nobody liking you are two completely different things. You're very <laughs> fine at this game, Bear. <laughs> thank, thank you. I, I think. Damn it. <laughs> uh. Here we are on Elite Tour. Joe Stockton, uh, I guess the win. Not familiar with the name off the top of my head. Uh, Stephen Clark, second. Juan Damien, Nebraska. Uh, well, what kind of flag is that? Can we see that from here on Juan? Oh, is it Zimbabwe? It doesn't say. Oh, interesting. Never knew they had a star in the flag. France, Jesse I, 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 Moose, I truly thought you were going to say, man, I didn't even know they had a flag. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't be that surprised. I, we do have a clip from Desi, though. The um, a flag of uh, new uh, of that is just basically Nick Price, right? Is that where he's I from? That reference is he really? Zimbabwe? Shot on all number one. No, ho, ho. really? <laughs> Killed yeah, by Zimbabwean mid clip. South Africa. <laughs> South Africa. Uh, pretty I close. Mean, Zimbabwe is very no close. Zimbabwean. Was... Look, top Zimbabwean. Yeah. Zimbabwean. <laughs> oh. Oh wow! Oh, wow. I, I was huh. looking here. Born South Africa. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Hmm. How close is? Let's do a little geo guesser. I'm gonna say I guess it's, uh, north. it's right next to it, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's like two or three countries away. No, huh. touches it. Yeah, it's right there. Huh. Oh, yeah. Interesting. But that's a good good ways away from Johannesburg, which is probably their yeah, closest I, big city. Because I know that South Africa is at the bottom of the continent, so I was like, <laughs> you know, covering my bets. Yeah, oh. it's, yeah, nice. Unless you said uh, Lesotho. Lesotho. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, those oh, are ooh, that's a good good to live there. Yeah. Yes, it is. You, you can figure out a nice way to word that one, I'm sure, too. Um, Desi, uh, he's moving on up to Platt. Take a look at how he's gonna get there. And here's Desmond Kenny's second shot on all number one. Ooh, auto off. Don't get it. Oh, that's it. looking it is. right on line. Oh, oh, what a spin! I think he had some speed had coming back too. The yeah, had that had so much heat. heat. That had some heat. A good oh, thing it hit the looking cup. Looking right on line. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a spin! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, probably. I love Pat's reaction. To what a hell of a spin here for the <laughs> Eagle to start round three on his way to a 54 that allowed him to finish in the top five this week in the late. And he's now the new member of the Platinum Tour. Well done. Okay, I love that. <laughs> I was, I was wondering what you were waiting for. for. <laughs> I was listening to that. <laughs> like, we, always, we always give him shit for cutting off the clip early. Yeah, I know exactly. Like, I feel like if he let twice a pod, of, I'm cutting the clip off. The <laughs> if he lets it run all the way and the clip sucks, then we can go that way. But yeah. <laughs> yours truly the amount of time uh, getting a double us. promo here. So hopefully, yeah, no one cares. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you coming on up? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I, I don't know if I want 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 the heat. I I like hanging out with your buddy Matty Matty from Canada down in uh, down in Elite. And we Maddie's conquered elite. Matty. And now it's on the McTrees. No, he he's the Matty's the scheduler. McTrees gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. for uh, Platt. Mm -hmm. Um, but I get to. Uh, I think it's a Mad F course this week. I'm looking forward <clears> to a Calamity Bay, I believe. Uh, Kinetic Tour, Ooh. Jim Flathers ends up winning um, Donnie Hill Geffe, Doug Geffe, Wet Bandit Gaming uh, Saucy Saucy Slimbaugh Tommy Natoom, nice, double pro or getting a promo there, so some promos around the board, and then finally on the, on the big pro the, the longest uh, probably the biggest monkey on the back of anything in all of TGC tours. We see Z Colpster, Colby T. Hey, yo. Capture his first title of True Sim. I want to say he must have 10 second places in True Sim. So, True Sim 2023, he already had two. True Sim 2022, seven. So, he had nine <laughs> second places before he. 
finally is able to uh, escape by a week that uh, Scud or Sloaner doesn't have like the round of their life. And uh, gets 4,600, winning by two shots over Scud and seven shots over third place. So really nice tournament by Colby. Um, kudos to him, including a uh, little nice double bogey two, there. I Congrats. Believe. Yeah, double bogey. See, I love that for you, Cole. A little bit of backspin. Because not a lot. Like, I still want it to release a little That's bit. That's the worst shirt I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen I, I, play golf. I, I need to make that sure out. that we... Oh, I'm looking at it. Though. I thought you were talking about the Penn State Rose Bowl shirt. That, that That's what I was what trying to figure about. out. <laughs> I was talking about the Rose Bowl shirt. Ooh, that had some steam, That'll too. Do. Lucky hit the pin. Ooh. That'll do. Oh. Hey, what's going on, Ed, though? How you doing, man? All shirt. <laughs> what was that, Rob? That, the the smells like roses shirt. I was gonna say I like I love the in game. It's shirt. not even a fucking championship game. It's just the participation t shirt. I mean, Penn State doesn't get to the the championship all too often. That that was a big game. That was a fun one too. In twenty seventeen. Yeah, that was Barkley. He, he that was Barkley in his prime, right? Twenty seventeen <sighs> Rose Bowl. Is that the game I'm thinking yeah. of? Or am I getting my years? It lost! Yeah, 52-59. Holy shit, what a game. It was a fantastic game. I mean, they, they lost, but... No, they, I mean, they they gave up 17 points in the yeah, fourth quarter, probably. I remember. Is that Sam Darnold? They had, they had Chris Godwin then, they had Mike Gesicki, and they Juju. also had uh, Trace... I mean, Trace Watch McSorley out. Was Let's not make Kilbride pull out his fucking Sam Darnold $5 Jets jersey, too. <laughs> <laughs> they had a bunch of Penn State apparel. Yeah, Penn Kilbride State closeted Jets. I man. bet you do. <laughs> Co <laughs> coaching staff commemorative. Yeah. yeah exactly. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's a bobblehead. It's just like, it's just like this. Alrighty. Uh, other promo. CCA. <laughs> Matthew T. Todd, uh, second place. Uh, Darnie, fifth. Uh, uh, Nifty, bear. fifth. Slow Snap, 16th. Energizer in CCB, 10th. Cross Eyes gets the win in CCC. Bendy Toes, 20th. CCE, we saw Fisher Bissett get 8th, along with Big Hurt. Eight, uh, I'm sorry, Fisher Bissett, 5th. Big Hurt, 8th. Skyline, 4th uh, place in CCF. Jeb, 7th place in CCG. USN gets 19th in CCH, getting, I believe, a promo. Sports Lifer 14th, Tor Pro 17th in CCI, McLovin Red Sox 10th in CCJ. That boy McLovin. Hmm. All right, let's get over to the community corner. We do have some events that are taking place. We'll start off with uh, if you are interested in participating in the Bees Knees Mad Dash, well, you got about 12 minutes until the stream starts, I believe, or uh, close to. Tabs. Time. Tabs, don't leave us. We still have trivia, I was going to say, good going, yeah, Cobra. Tabs, tabs. tabs. <laughs> Again, I, I put it in the notes. I go, I don't know how we do it because the Mad Dash will take place. Mm. Tabs. Tab us up, yeah, folks. Tabs. <laughs> yeah, you don't even need to have our audio on. Mute the tab. Be good at the game and automatically qualify, right? <laughs> yeah. You don't have to worry about it. Help out on the back end. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tonight, uh, so I believe around 30 spots or so, 32 spots, I typically half are do, already filled. Do you want me to give you the ex the exact numbers? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. So for PC, um, again, this is specifically for the regular bracket. So specifically regular bra bracket, there are eight available on the PC side. There oh, are three available on the PlayStation there are six available for the Xbox, and then you can add in the 16 available for the mix bracket. So right now there are currently 31 spots locked up. Get on in there, baby. Let's see it. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, are you playing in this one, Bear? Hell yeah, he is. Listen. Okay? He used his privileges. Listen, no. What, what? I don't know. That's what, it, that, that's what it looked like from the screenshot. From the screenshot, yeah. But I would have been in on scores anyways. But ah. you can suck my cock now. I'm going to make sure that I get you round one. So, <laughs> not, yeah, that's going to be me abusing my powers. Anyways, <laughs> what I will say is that um, for this, it, it's one of the, the first March Madness style tournaments that we had. 
If you haven't been involved, uh, let me tell you, you will get to the first tee, your hands will shake, your knees will mm-hmm. queak, queak. Quiver. I was like, what? I <laughs> fucked it up. Just move do? on. Just move on. Fuck me. Quiver, I believe, is the word you're looking for. <laughs> No, it, it was it was hands will shake, knees will quake, and then we were gonna come up on the fly with something about uh, like Mom's nutting, so but whatever, you know. Man. We fucked it up. <laughs> I I used all of my good speaking for my job for earlier. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were going to M&M for you. a minute there. <laughs> There's bobbing on his sweater already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, we do have another tournament. If you don't get into that one, and you happen to be playing on PlayStation, um, Mr. Kyle Schulte is hosting the first "quote unquote" esports um, event. Um, kind of a bummer, in my opinion, that it's happening simultaneously as the Bees event. Would have liked to have seen mm. spaced out a little bit more, but really excited to see it happening. Five hundred dollars in prizes, all on PS Five. Kyle is running it. Um, I think he's done a great job vetting out a lot of the different concerns within the community as far as cheating, as far as, um, you know, contingency plans, as far as what to do in certain situations. He put out a PDF doc, um, you know, with strict timelines, $10 entry fee, $500 um, prize pool. There's going to be a two-day or three-day window, Tuesday the 10th through January the 12th, so I don't know when exactly... Uh, the time is on Tuesday, so a two to three day window for signing up. Um, but they're hoping to get 32 players. I think they're going to get that absolutely no problem. Probably similar to B's Mad Dash sign up. So if you're interested in doing that, look in Progressive Golf's Discord. Uh, Bear, Moose, or a- anyone else in here, if you want to post his Discord link in chat, that'd be great. Uh, super. Um, hey. And uh, anyways, yeah, it's going to be a real quick tournament essentially by friday the 13th it's going to start and then um what is it uh sunday the 15th it looks like they're going to conclude they're going to do round three four and five so people Mm. are going to acknowledge when they sign up that they're playing at these certain time slots um really you know structured event and you know i have full confidence if anyone's going to do it progressive has put on a lot of golf tournaments in its lifetime obviously none virtual um, but you know, he, he has created a document. I think there needs to be a lot of contingencies as, as we've talked about, and he has mm-hmm. vetted out, a, um, a lot, um, with people, um, around the community. We'll see. We'll see. Um, only time will tell him, you know, I think he's going to be dedicating his whole entire weekend to it. So I think that's going to help quite a bit. And here's what I'll say. I know a few people in chat have said it's like unfortunate timing, unfortunate timing. Think about it this way. This next week on Twitch, mm, it's gonna be unbelievable. you are going to get some of the most entertaining, high-quality competitiveness. I, I was going to throw content out there. But again, you're, you're getting quality matches, mm-hmm. unless I play Moose, because that's just going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> but you're going to see that as soon as you're on, and this is where it's going to get very important, pay attention to who is streaming when. Because to get the most eyes on your match, and this, this has been the one thing that I've like harped on people, and I understand people have things going on, pay attention to the schedule, because almost every B's match, I assume Progressive's matches will be the same. There's going to be raids going out. You're going to be able to meet some new people. This is going to be an awesome event, events for the community. And then on top <laughs> of that, being positive, fuck. Uh, Sorry. One. We have EA golf news this potentially this week. Jo- uh, Jordy, jo- uh, just Jordan. Um, is a now a game changer. Uh, Going to be working with EA Sports on the new PGA Tour game, and then on top. So we didn't really necessarily have news other than that until DR Golf Designs, one of the gentlemen that we interviewed on Game Chat. Which, if you haven't checked that out, might as well. Um, he is a Dutch golf like ambassador or some high position. I forget the exact title, but he he's kind of a big deal in golf over over in uh, the Dutch land. Uh, PGA EA Sports PGA, PGA Tour virtual preview live stream this Wednesday, January 11th. So I don't know the exact details of this, 
Um, I will post this tweet in here. So if you guys want to follow along DR Golf Design, I assume that's where you will find the information. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be on his stream. His, he's been doing a lot over on YouTube. I assume the EA Sports um, PGA Tour um, Twitter account will release some information potentially Wednesday morning. Um, but it looks like we may receive some news um, upcoming about the new EA game. So, I mean, as far as a golf and video game standpoint, this is about as good as a time to be in the community, I would say, with the Bees event going on, Progressive trying to get some esports stuff going, EA coming out. We have information with several people attached to the EA game. So I don't know how you guys feel, but, um, you know, I, I feel real encouraged right about now. I mean, I'm I mean, excited for a new game and yeah. competition. I was going to say, you, you know how I feel. We're going to hope EA... Uh, you know, make some good choices with what, what they're doing with their game. Yeah, exactly. Not necessarily EA's biggest supporter right now after what they did. <laughs> <laughs> they suck. Um, yeah, if you guys don't know, they um, um, said that everything was down for a while and then said, oh, go back and get into your leagues. Well, if you did what EA said and went back into your leagues like my players do, um, it, it caused them to corrupt and completely self-destruct. Um, but with that being said, um, two games, uh, two golf games are better than one golf game. They should push each other. Um, they want to eat both of these companies want to win. And I can't wait to see what competition brings. Yep. I, I can as well. Not to mention, I was telling Bear last night, really helping the algorithm on my EA versus PGA Tour uh, video on YouTube. <laughs> Just pumping views into that. I want to <laughs> talk about YouTube right now. Oh, you have a 240pi. God damn. Why, why is it? Why? Like, I even like going through the pleaded article that he sent of like... It must have been something you did with that video when you were, you were editing it. And it you used Camtasia, it, right? Yeah, I, I think you it's, never have I, issues with your videos. I've never had one, and until I'm like, <laughs> we're going to do a challenge series, everyone, come and watch. <laughs> Dumbass, so. a great ginger impression. We're gonna, we're gonna hope that the the next <laughs> Jesus, we're gonna hope that the next challenge video uh -huh. uh, renders the right way. Yeah. I, really enjoyable video. Rob. If you guys haven't watched Bear's challenge video, as far as everything except for the actual quality of the picture at 240, click on that YouTube channel link. Um, the challenge series is pretty fun. Bear in the Woods plays the back nine of Sawgrass using only woods in his putter. Uh, you won't believe how well he does. Let's just say it, 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 we got it. it was a first time. Like, how great would that have been? But no, mm. two. 40. I got the shout out in. Fuck you, Moose. So. Oh, yeah. Wow. Got some golf coming in, Party yeah. of 37. Oh, there he is. We were just talking about uh, the esports the e news. So much going on between uh, your tournament that you're hosting, uh, EA golf news coming out this week, the Bees match play stuff coming out this week. So it couldn't be a better time for virtual golf. Really looking forward to it. We mentioned uh, if there's any links progressive, because we were just talking about it, especially. That you want everyone to have i we put a link to your discord where i think all the information is we showed the pdf file that you created which i think is great that you have all the rules uh, or a good chunk of the rules that that you can think of ahead of time outline time slots everything so um really really excited to watch twitch this upcoming weekend um and just see how everything progresses <laughs> I, oh. I, knew, I knew rob would get it <laughs> All right, let's let's get to the community corner. Just a bit more uh, clips. Pace. Just a two minute. All right, let's see how he does on Wait, this. Wait, you hole. didn't let us guess what his I, plus yeah, was. Yeah, I know that was that was on me. He was the first clip, so I had it preloaded. Plus fourteen. Did anyone see that? Did bounce? you see? Oh yeah, how in the world? Oh my goodness, Tomb. Thomas Dark Magic. Did you see that? My That's God. how you do it. Welcome in well, Raiders though. If you yeah, I don't a bit. To me, he always got something special. Third hole, so his uh, ghost is only plus fourteen, by the way. Um yeah, if you guys are new from the progressive raid, I I'm Killbride 10. We host the 
Red Fast Review podcast where we talk a lot of virtual golf. We talk about sports in real life every week. We've also added a trivia segment towards the end of the podcast. Right now, we're going to go through a bunch of community corner clips. We're going to get to the trivia in just a moment. We'll go over the society that we host every week. Um, but we have a bunch of clips from around the community. Today, we had Scoop Magoot, or yesterday, I believe. Interesting 2K replay. Hopefully, EA has a better replay system. Hello. That'd, that'd be a big step oh. up. Oh. That, that wasn't bad. I mean, I mean judging by other audio desync, but judging by other uh, EA replays, it has to be similar to those, right? Because they're all the same kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's EA FIFA, replay but... system. I, I mean, as far as it's, it's really does, good. EA replay system is fantastic. I mean, actually, I it's don't really know good. about <laughs> the the live ones. Obviously, the instant replay where you can go in and change the toggle. The, I, from what I remember, yeah, the, the live that. NHL replays are really good. Yeah, for the most part. I would like to think they, they do a decent job there. I'm all for criticizing them, but... Oh, yeah. Um, no law, no spin, no nothing. Only where it's due, right? This is a retweeted by Bang. 2K account today. 2K has been off and running. Just right of the stick, a little bit shorts, fast, and the wind. That should play. Just It'd be hard to pick a worse one. Wind, <laughs> wind, go in the hole, Ooh, go, in the hole go in the hole, go in the hole. Oh, oh my God! Someone clipped that. Oh my goodness! You were... Thought it was. Oh going wow! Well, not quite, but still a nice I shot. I know. There, Hawk. Still a nice shot. I don't think I've and... seen them uh, retweet something that wasn't a hole out. Not that it was a bad shot. Yeah, yeah no, just... I, I I would agree. That's that's a bit odd. This is Dr. Golf Designs, the person that EA is likely likely going to have on the uh, live stream on Wednesday, based on his tweet out. Look at this interesting replay. He did it from two different angles. Love that. Overachiever. Mm -hmm. Very much. Now I'm so here for it. Can we get this guy to make the replay system the next year? We can't even see it. Oh, no. It actually switched. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it went in. Still a nice shot, though. Still a nice. Maybe we have one that goes in here. Mr. Z. Kolbser. Colby doesn't hit a shot unless it goes in. So. All right, come on. Big swing here. I know it's enough. Interesting outfit. I don't know how I, I like the color. I don't know if I like all like of Like that counts as purple. a push to the left, and that really, really bothers me. Ooh. So why? Hang on. Why did like, that go, so okay. go so far left? I didn't. I didn't. I thought that was a good shot. Someone said that. Maybe it was Pat. <laughs> did Pat send the troll? Who clipped it? Who clipped it? That's a yellow tooth. But by yellow tooth yeah. beaver. <laughs> so let's see this. I mean, in my in, I would say so there's a that pretty wind, decent amount of wind, but he's playing for it. And then there was a point here where wind we saw lie. the uh, lie grid, and that is substan That's substantial to the left. So I'm, I mean, not that he's off on his calculations all too much, but an orange slope <laughs> with that wind. Yeah, and you're, he... and you're gonna go left to right into it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. You're starting right, the ball. It, the ball's never gonna come Big back. Big swing that here. Win. So I mean, I kind of think the line. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see a shape. I think that line was like exactly that counts as a push. I don't think it was affected at all by the swing plane because he got the slow too. I think that's yeah. exactly the line I'd... that it was supposed to go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I to think the, the left, shape really and that killed really. It. Really yeah. bothered. Get rich, nerd. The Red Fast Review says you suck. Sorry, Colb. I didn't know that was a uh, bad clip. <laughs> Honestly, <God. laughs> oh, no congrats, congrats on your win. Yeah, congrats, congrats on your win. <laughs> <laughs> go on to Twitch. Go on to YouTube and go on to any other streaming service and actually watch these the lads that? play yes, rounds that they're doing the API checks on. Like I've never heard him speak before. <laughs> no. No That's way. a no fucking shot. brilliant shot, Seb. Seven. That's it. Yeah. All over. Uh, hammering the hammering the fast forward. Lord only knows how long that would have taken to Check. roll if you didn't though. No That's way. That's a fucking. The thing is, if anyone has if you've these never really long rollouts, we will watch the entire thing if you don't fast forward. It would be incredible. Like the best clip of two K twenty one was response, and he feathered yeah, over was... a smidgen. But the fact yeah. that that but took how a can good you thirty not? seconds, I swear. From the time he actually hit the ball till it went in the cup, it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. 
I think we have one more from Seb. This is an interesting replay. I just thought it was kind of... Interesting replay angle. Side door action. Oh! Yeah, Hang bad. time. We got Dino. Dino up too. Oh, I think he was upset. Dino yeah, was no, this was his... Uh... An hour. Oh, he's right, got his mic. About 94% we're going for here. I miss his face. In the hole. Oh, First perfect. ace on stream. And I'm not even on my fucking camera. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Turn it on. Uh, Why do you turn it off? He's I dealing like with PC issues. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, I know the last shit. stream he his camera and microphone off because his wife or girlfriend or whoever was playing Fortnite next to him, so... Ah. What? Yeah. Don't be a di I am... What uh, is driver this? driver practice strokes out of the bunker, trying to troll in an alt shot. Skyline. Let's switch to a splash. So Oops. Sand shot will drop in for Very the Very nicely bird. done. Very nicely done. We have one last uh, clip from Mr. Uber. It's actually this week's plat event, so we didn't feature it in uh, full D left. Ooh. Still spins in the uh, in the plat section because it was it's this week as opposed to last week. Full D left. Still spins. Quite a bit back. Yeah, makes sense. Rolling. Jeez. Wow, it's not even that. It's just a yellow slip. Yeah. Just the yellow. I stars. kind of enjoyed my time in Elite. The courses were playable. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm back, isn't it? Fuck off. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> really? Oh. Is that is that what we're doing now, is it? <laughs> That's <laughs> not. Like, really? Mm -hmm. Someone said that was a jibes course. It is. Yeah. That shit's ridiculous. I love how I love how that tells you all you need to know. I love how it was irritated too. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, ball drops, gets his birdie, and immediately is pissed off. Still pissed off too. <laughs> yeah. I believe the quote I put into Oob's chat yesterday was, "He could take all of the irons into his anus." So <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Jives around in a while. Is he creating anything for twenty three? Does he have twenty three? Do we know anything about it? Uh, I don't know. He he did put yeah. something into the uh into a message recently that was just like i'm out so fair enough not the Damn. only one anyways um we had uh 122 participants big tick up from uh last week's 99 um mm -hmm. on cocked and loaded last week's episode on buckeye tears base and brad townsend's go blue brad's course really nice course highly recommended if you have not played it um get out there and do so let's take a look at uh the leaderboard uh here we had mr sports lifer end up winning it uh from cci just goes to show you that from any tour you can go out there and win the red fast review just um, not scoring pretty sure we're going to need an api check on that <laughs> sports lifer, yeah. man, he even questioned man, this so himself <laughs> yeah i saw that in the reply <laughs> He's good. like, are you guys sure? <laughs> <laughs> must have been, must have been a typo. Uh, but yes, yeah, sports life for CCI, you get 19 strokes down there, so uh, a, a lot of help for two rounds of golf. But uh, really nicely done. It was a tough, challenging uh, course. Brad didn't make it easy, um, but two round rounds of golf, really well played and rewarded for it. Um, let's go through the full list. Witness, Semsi, Brendan Pin, Art Penguin, Go Blue, Brad, the course designer. Lee Playthings, been seeing a lot of him on TikTok lately. The Zeke Monster, Chad McSpeary, Constant Prowl, Gerb, Big Haya, G Dog, Caster, Jeb, Miller Time, Kilbride, A Stone Canadian, Rack Rack Rackham, Jut, Hawkster, Zinn, Scotty Walnuts, Hendo, uh, Caker, Tushy, Devs, Tag, Dino, No FX, uh, Ux, Visual, Urzfans, Urzfan, Sneko, Oki, Up. Up Mup, Linkster, Cajun, Code, Dilly, I'm playing for Chubbs, Jizzy Bone, CIA Bear, 
be Phil Gaiman, uh, Fox and Hawk's Nest, Crittle Bones, Saucy, Slippery Log, Turks Tea Times, Tomb, Hello Puppet, Dangle Snipe, Sally, Six Nine, Dangle, um, Dangle D. Hurst, Fisher, Hillman, Undertale, Spider, Trent, Juna, Andy, Yetroid, Jenkins, Slow Snap, Mad Moose, Respawn, Tapja, Curry, Coyote Man, Pen Knight, Silver Fox, Insane Eric, Stan, Doby Diesel, uh, Scooby Dog, Emo, BJ Golfer, Samo, Potomac Bong, C Flow, Jordy Boyd, Jess Jordan, Soul Killer, a uh, Hey F You Buddy, B Miller, Croc Hunter, Scoop Magoot, Final Cut, H Man, Sweet Billy Boy, Larkin, Aggressive Golf, Matt's T Lamb, AJ, uh, HCP Path, TD, Tree Fitty, uh, C Knight, Memento Mikey, Some Old Guy, WTF, Chuck, Johnson, uh, Nolan Ryan, Elder Great One, uh, N Bonds, M Monster Kawaii, Kawi? Monster Kawi? Kawaii. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Glasses Glazer. No, it is. Mad okay. Um, Magic Mark, Brayson Diaz, Skull Bandit, L Busy, Breach Naked, Trodel, uh, Phoenix, The Ray, aka Scribs, Steez God, uh, Reefer, Marsala, Wild Hockey, and I'm the Aura. Uh, Kilbride, I thought we had a discussion about. Um... Entry Wild Hockey, what the tour was supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Did we? Yep. Yep. That, that's the one that needs to be changed. I don't remember. Damn it, Kilbride. The Wench. It's got to be changed. The Wench. Oh, is that eight? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's, that's eights. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll fix that after. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Sorry, we'll fix it for next week and we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll do it then. Yeah, three click. We don't currently have any strokes because we don't know where to assign it. So, uh, so some people are really good on three click. So it's a big, wide dispersion. So getting the adjusted score um, kind of hurts. I was going to say, what? Snap, I put your name in the, in the rundown. Aren't you on B or C? Where did I? Yeah, you're on A. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll get that we'll get that uh, corrected going forward or adjusted uh, to the proper tier. That was Buckeye Tears Basin, tougher course. We have a real tough course this week. Grim Reaper Island CC. John Gelsinger designs it for our very hey, own the CIA bore. Uh, bore. The boar. <laughs> the boar. Yeah. That's a big fucking demotion right there. Yeah. Um, Grim Reaper Island CC. If you guys uh, want to get a little snippet, uh, go check out my TikTok where you'll find a uh, recent promotion of the course. And as well as um, there, PJ Courses. I think we have a little snippet here. Grim Reaper Island CC. And we even have. CIA bear carved in the rocks, or a rock oh, formation, cool. I should say, assembled for the gentleman himself. Beautiful thing. Uh, yeah, dedicated directly to bear. All right. Um, let's see. Switch gears. Content creator of the week. Cool here. Okay. We have him recently. Let me see. Okay. Mr. I'm Mikey sorry to An interrupt your stream, but I'm... Interesting. Mr. Mikey Angelo Gaming. Uh, Mikey Angelo has been uh, doing really well lately. Um, streams every now and again. PC player has been um, playing really well. And... Uh, <clears throat> You know, you'll see him on quite a bit of the leaderboards. hasn't hasn't necessarily hit the uh, go live button all too much um, in this past month. Um, but here's a here's a clip of him. He absolutely dominated and put mm -hmm. Map Collector yeah. into his grave. So Map Collector probably just shut off the stream, banned uh, this channel from ever appearing again. But uh, let's let's give Mikey Angelo a little bit of uh, credit here on his damn good play lately. This was an uber true sim match play. Fast again. That's going on a good line. What? Okay. Oh, yeah. Poor map. This is going to drop, isn't it? Maybe. No <laughs> way, dude. What a shot. I think it's just my lucky day today, dude. 
Poor <laughs> map. Oh, <sighs> man. Brings back some good memories. Brings back some bad memories for some. But uh, Mikey Angelo, uh, go give him a follow if you don't and uh, try to help him out. He is uh, just barely past affiliate. Uh, got about 100 followers and, uh, you know, streams every once in a while and plays, plays a whole bunch of golf. But now, get to trivia, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's the game plan. We have plated pants on the team this week. So the boys are going to try to get to the uh, winning score without the chat's help. We're, we're going to be using the honor code and not read chat for our answers. If we visualize, if we do look at chat, we're trying to not uh, let it sway our decisions not put those mm -hmm. thoughts into our head so uh, i i have uh, removed chat beautiful yeah you're you're full screened uh yeah i, I need to get the uh thing up wait let, no i meant i full screen the stream like, oh, oh, oh like gotcha, gotcha gotcha okay let's get uh on with uh the trivia time right. oh, countdown. so this is the last it week's episode this is the last chance Amen. this is the this was the last chance oh, to qualify for tomorrow night's night of champions um i can't remember quite the score mine i did the math on a piece of paper but i threw it away of what the mat what your score is minus the music round but it was somewhere in like the 4500 range 40, okay 4600 mm -hmm. range but we did have our first team to go three for three Whoa. Damn it. in the impossible rounds and they so were so doable. far behind that they didn't win <laughs> that, that's not that's not all right uh am i do you want me to still be the final answer guy we we give most uh yeah, no most, it's moose mo it's yeah, moose. moose you got fired yeah. moose yeah. you got fired exactly. west virginia moose you were the final answer guy this week uh yeah. ready all right let's, let's go uh that must have right. been a promo uh, video let me, wait real quick let me get a piece of paper yep that, this is for what we have going on today It only came a couple times. Picks. Hey, hey, yo. All right. All right. Warmer Ready when you are. Warmer Brown, these are your easiest questions, folks. That's a long one. Fructolactobacillus San Francisensis San Francisensis is the species of bacteria found in what baked good? What? Uh, I want to. My, my first thought for some reason was bread. Fructa lactobacillus sanfrancinsensis is the species is of bacteria. Two? two words. Two. Is the species of bacteria found in what baked good? Yeah, I don't know if I know Rob bakes a lot of do, bread. Do San Francisco people know this just because it's, you know, he says San, Francisco. San Francisco? Yeah. Like, I would have said that, rice roni if it wasn't a baked good. Bread out there. Unless it's I was going to think go bread. I have no idea. I have no idea. Lee, did any input? This way, this is so Rob could sit there and be like, I make a mean fucking loaf. Sourdough. Oh, so sourdough bread, maybe? Um, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. It's not a bad idea. All right. Bread, final answer. If you wrote down bread, I would have not given you points. The correct answer mm. is sourdough. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, I said yeah it. you Moose did. Moose also said it. Moose is I, the, I thought Moose it was too early answer. for that bullshit. All right. Okay. Sourdough is the correct answer. Right. Uh, the name of the, the mascot for the 49ers is Sourdough Sam. Uh, That's absurd. Yeah. Okay, I know this like one. A big thing in San Fran. I'm inventing oh, we are more the, so. We're than known for our sourdough. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, like this one's turn. easy. I'm a William is Stanley a funded by Westinghouse. Okay. We'll go with William Stanley. Final answer. The answer is Nikolai Tesla. 0 for 2 on that the... That was going to be... Wrong. <laughs> um, uh, Tesla didn't... Um, uh, Tesla's later. Um, uh, Westinghouse and Stanley are the first ones that um, that did AC. Like, um, um, uh, Tesla is wrong. Oh, let's go. <laughs> He's up. Googling? He's Googling? <laughs> Imagine. 
Who we invented the credit? <laughs> AC versus AC. Yeah, we get we get the first first one back. <laughs> yeah. Tesla and Edison were the ones that fought between AC and DC, but Tesla was not the originator of AC. That would have been my guess. Would be Tesla. I want to slow down the podcast. Sure, you get your hundred points back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big point. I can't Big believe point. you lied to your bar. <laughs> Uh, they're all drunk what do they know <laughs> i don't know much about things but um that's sort of what i went to school for the simpsons, uh, Ooh. The simpsons harry potter golden girls and dexter are all be monopoly, right? special editions that, yeah i don't, no, know. Same I don't think classic like, video game or i don't think game. dexter has enough stuff to be able to cool. be that's, a, that's um, true. i think the only dexter that i can think of is clue Oh, that'd be um, good. And there's no Oxford comma there, so I don't know what Golden Girls and Dexter are. No, Is it Golden so, Girls and Dexter? No one likes the Oxford So comma. wait, are, are we seriously thinking Golden Girls has Clue, though? Well, Clue, Clue's know. been around forever, like Monopoly. It's, uh, I'm but I, I, my, I my, don't know of the Dexter Monopoly. My initial answer was Monopoly, but I agree with Pleated, where I don't think it would have... I mean, it, it would be close. Maybe, I don't know. Monopoly is the like the first board game I always think of. However, yeah, it same. makes more sense sense for Dexter, but it, it yeah. I also lean towards it's the first round, and maybe it's super obvious in Monopoly. So I I don't know. So like I go back. Bear, what do you? What's your final opinion? Monopoly. Uh, Monopoly. Final answer. Correct answer is Clue. There is no oh, such fuck. thing as a mon Dexter Monopoly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm three for three. Moose is one for three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this oh, is the sixth week of Top Gun questions in the chat. Um, I don't in know the this film one. Top Gun. According to Iceman, where do they keep the plaque for the list of alternate pilots? You should probably mm. watch this Top Gun movie more recently than uh, 20 years ago. Well, I this is, this is the second to last. I, Top so Gun I've seen it like a couple. Films couple months ago i don't remember if bear's seen it or not lead it if you need frame of reference uh i accidentally had two weeks the first two weeks of the trivia gauntlet i had a top gun question in both in the first two weeks uh so i decided to have a top gun question for okay the next, for the next oh that's kind of cool weeks. i like i i watched it a couple months ago and i can't remember my initial thought would be bathroom Tomorrow is the season finale, so we're switching the film to Jaws next next season. Oh, is that uh, um, information that you released already? Yes. What? Uh, I've no what, what's your guys' input? Here's Bear. Pleaded. I don't. I. I never guess. Bear, do you do you have a guess, guess for this? Bear. I don't care. Kill them all. What's Pleated. what's the question? In the film Top Gun, according to Iceman, where do they keep the plaque for the list of alternate pilots? Up Rob's ass. Okay, uh, Bear, will you? <laughs> bath <laughs> bathroom, final answer. The correct answer is the ladies' room. I will Ooh. give you points for that. 200 right, points it. on the board. Who is Law & Order's executive producer oh, whose name appears at the end of every episode <laughs> first? Moose Dick Wolf. <laughs> Dick Wolf. Final answer. You got a point on the board. And your bonus question worth double. Which two countries are tied for the most bordering countries worth 100 points apiece? So we know one's France, right? No, um, that's, that's, that has the no, most time zones. Or is that... We probably know one's Russia. I would think. Well, no, I, um, I, I wasn't going off that from the time zone question. I was going off that from Bear's Twitter thing. Bear, what was that um, Twitter France, thing about? Um, no, um, uh, you're Polish, gonna get some okay. um, um, a Baltic state like you know Slovenia that's gonna have yeah, more gonna around it than the, France in the does. Middle there, um, okay. like you know maybe like Switzerland. Um, uh, I'm mm. thinking like I think one of them has to be uh, or both of them have to be in Europe. Yeah, um, one, one has to be Russia. You know where I'm thinking is Saudi Arabia because well, they got. Um, Saudi Arabia and Russia is what I would say. Russia has a lot of those small, um, um, like Estonia and stuff. Like Russia, I think I, I like Russia. Um, okay. 
and we could do it's, yeah it's, 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 it's gonna be somewhere in Europe. Europe. Right? it's just pretty much what China. Russia, Mongolia, North Korea. <laughs> yeah, I, I I feel like it to be one of those middle small <laughs> European countries. Maybe it has a bunch on the south too. It could be China. I don't know how much he it touches on the um, south. Um, not a not a not a ton down there. That's just like India and stuff, right? Like, it's like uh, moose. Not a well, ton down there. There's like Bangladesh. <laughs> there's Myanmar. There's Vietnam. There's I don't think it gets to Cambodia, but it get, it'll get to China. Vietnam. I, yeah, like I, I just think that you get to like something forward. like Hungary or what about Brazil. Um, um Brazil's pretty, pretty big, big with Argentina. A lot of them in the north. It. I think yeah. they're only like five. So Russia and some other European country or a European country. We're gonna need an answer, folks. I personally yeah. think it's what either we... China or Saudi Arabia, but I I'm fine with whatever you guys decide. And China. Bear pleaded final say. Oh god. Like I want to say something like I like I, I'm I'm just like China Belarus China might be the one China. that fits this is easy that you go China yeah gotcha okay <laughs> bear yeah okay China Russia final answer you know you said it you said it uh, the one of the correct answers is Russia the other correct answer is China great work boys oh wow Jesus okay. nice starting out the bat with five hundred points we move on. To, wow, Ooh, go back. Sorry. Jesus, fuck. Let me have my fucking moment to shine here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to round two. 100 points apiece for each clue. You're going to tell me the name of the characters based on their silhouette. Let's go. All right. Okay, one, one is Stewie. Stewie Griffin. Stewie. Mm -hmm. Two is from Adventure Time. Odie. Yeah, like, it's so Stewie, Finn from Adventureland. Mm -hmm. um, Odie, Odie from Garfield. Mm -hmm. Sideshow Bob. Um, yeah. Betty Boop is number five. Mm -hmm. Six okay. is Fry from Futurama. The Tasmanian Devil mm -hmm. is seven. Eight is Casper the Friendly Ghost. Mm -hmm. Hey Arnold. Nine is from uh yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, what is it from Moose? <laughs> oh, you just said hey Arnold. <laughs> yeah, I know. Who who's gonna say <laughs> it's 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 from Hey Arnold? Oh, I can talk. I thought it was say Arnold. Arnold. Because, yes, you know, it's Arnold, not Hey Arnold. And 10 is Dexter. <laughs> Wait, what? Is 10 not Dexter? I don't know 10. Yeah, I think you're right, Moose. Now that you I said that, so. I didn't, I couldn't place it, but those, those are his glasses, right? Yeah. All right. So go Thanks with that. That is a perfect score. Beautiful. On the visual clues round. We are up to 1,600 points <laughs> heading into round three. Round three, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go through the answers real quick. Stewie, Finn, Odie, Sideshow Bob, Betty Boop, Philip J. Fry, the Tasmanian Devil, Casper, the Friendly Ghost, Arnold, and Dexter. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to round three. Round three, folks. Trivia for babies. Oh, God. Move on to question number one. Which dual-named toy company was for toddlers is actually owned by the Quaker Oats Company until 1991? Milton Bradley? I was going to say was Milton like Bradley is the only tool named. Pleaded? Um, Anything come to your mind? Okay, That's Milton hold Bradley. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah? I'm thinking. What about Fisher Price? Ooh. Oh, that's a good oh, one. That's a good I'd go one. Fisher Price. Yeah. Milton Bradley made like puzzles and toddlers, board games and stuff. Toddlers, Fisher Price, definitely good call. Bear. Yeah. Good call, Bear. Yes. <laughs> Rob looks like he's going to be upset. Fisher Price final the answer. Dad saves the day, folks. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Let's go. I forget thank they existed God. for a minute. Question number two George Carlin, Ringo Starr, Alec Baldwin, and Pierce Brosnan were all narrators of what children's show? The fuck? Really have Silence is how you can tell it's a good question. No, I was. I. I'm so torn between two. On. Do they have narrators? Yeah, no, but I went my first the thought narrators. was Thomas the Tank Engine. Didn't know they had narrators. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't started watching the TV stuff yet. And then I was hoping I would be able to see John Ritter because then that'd be Clifford. But, uh, God, I feel like it's Thomas. Yeah, I'll go with Thomas the Tank Engine. Final answer. 
That is correct. And if you had sent Thomas there, the train engine, go. we would have said no <laughs> points. <laughs> how many? How many people said that? Or is that uh, is nobody? This... Okay. Oh, Sesame Street. Right Question after. three: What is the name of the store on Sesame Street? Whorehouse. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know there was a store. The brothel. <laughs> no, it's it's. I don't know. Um, the name of the guy. Oscar Roach. No, it. it... <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit darker, darker than Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the bear, Fozzie? No, wait. There's, there's no big bird. Bear. That's the no. Muppets. You fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same to me. I don't know. What is going on? What's the name? I need to keep my head down. It's gonna happen. It, it's, I'm gonna see it in chat. Oh, uh, help me! Give me some. Give me Bert some Bird. context clues. Oh yeah, Bert and Ernie. He's not welcome in Boston. What's the what's the name of that character? I don't know. In I Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, oh, Barry, you, you can an, do it. Gotta need an answer, folks. I I don't know. Uh uh Bert, final answer or er, store name, fuck. I don't know. The fucking whorehouse. Final answer. Yeah. World War II fan got it right. It is Hooper's. <laughs> Hooper's. I don't know who that is. <laughs> which company hosts? Oh, oh sorry. which company hosts their annual baby photo contest to crown their annual chief? Oh, it's going to be officer? Gerber, right? It's the Gerber baby. Yeah, I'm good sure. with that. I'm good with that. Yeah. Gerber. Final That's answer. Correct, boys. Nice work, Moose. We move on to question five. <laughs> a gosling is the term for a baby. What? Oh, it's oh, some kind of oh. bird, isn't it? It's like a seal. Oh? That sounds right, but I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking bird. Bear? Maybe it is bird. What's on Gosling's rum? Oh. Couldn't tell you. That's right. You know it's a rum. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a goose. It has to be a goose. Gosling's rum has goose on it, right? Maybe. Bird, you any, know, uh, goose has goose on it. I thought it was bird. Okay. Well, I was no, going bird of bird. some sort. Uh, yeah. Goose. Final answer. Folks, this is your sneaky Top Gun question tonight. The answer is goose. Hey -o. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> we already had and a Top your Gun. Bonus and your bonus question worth double. According to the Office of Social Security, well, for the last oh, four years, what which girl's name has been the most popular? I feel like it's Emma. I feel like that's a solid answer. I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, uh. Emma's solid. Fuck, I should know this because I have yeah, two you girls. <laughs> you should. Yeah, I have no clue. I should because I know Olivia was up there. Ooh, that's a good one. I feel like Hannah's always pretty popular. Mm. No, Han Hannah, it, it's, it's, it's the dumber names now. Mm. So you've got to, yeah. like, like are we we going uh, yeah. back to like the old older people names? Dolores. Mm -hmm. No, oh, it, it's like <laughs> Iris. <Gertrude>. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Can Margaret? Is yeah. There a uh, Rob that mails it in by now and just starts throwing off like random names like Gertrude. Oh no, they'll they'll like your mother sucks dick. <laughs> yeah. the uh, so do we want to go with Olivia or what was the other one? Emma, God, Olivia, I Emma. Go with Emma. Olivia. Right. Olivia, oh. final answer. Okay. That's fucking incredible. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia, Olivia was the Olivia was second place to Emma for the last fourteen years. Wow. And no for the last four years, Olivia's been first and Emma's been second. <laughs> Damn. So we got the top two immediately. Two bear. <laughs> Let's fucking go. I'm not. If, if don't be offended by this up. chat. If anyone has a child or anything named Olivia, I'm not a huge fan of that name. Thanks, Moose. I don't know about you guys. There you go. If there's Just any name. girls in I chat named name. Olivia, stay out of Moose's DM. Yeah, get the fuck away from me. So here we go. We head into the punishment round. This is where dreams mm. are made and dreams <clears throat> are crushed. Folks, before the Colorado Rockies were a baseball team, what sport did the team with the same name play? It wasn't hockey. Um. No. But I've never heard of them are, if they were a hockey team. Are you sure? What? Well, because before the Avalanche, it was the Nordiques. What sport 
did the team with the same name play? So something in Colorado. Um, and I don't um, remember them the having Broncos a team. Have been there forever. Well, it would have had to. It's not a pro team. We we know that for sure. Yeah, true, true. Could be, could be a random team. sport too, like freaking volleyball or it, like I don't know if there's anything relating to. Colorado I I, f- I feel like it's one of the too. one of the four major Thanks, sports. We could. I don't know what else. It's not hockey because it was only the Avalanche. I didn't, yeah, I didn't there. think so. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think it was. I mean, was there a basketball team before the Nuggets? Oh, I see a shit-eating grin. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I couldn't get to the mute button because of the shit-eating what, grin. What What were you going to say, Kilbren? I have no idea. I, I don't recall one before b- Before any of the, like, the, the Broncos have been there forever. The Nuggets, I don't think I've been there all that long. But I don't recall yeah. one before them. What, I mean, what do you guys think? Lifetime, so. what, what, what would you guys want to go with? Um, I don't know. I got nothing. You're throw something to... out there, Moosey. Hockey, final answer. Holy shit, it's fucking right. Oh my they god. They played in the fucking <laughs> 70s <laughs> as the Colorado yes. Rockies. <laughs> the who, yeah. wow. Okay. In the NHL? In the NHL. <laughs> Bravo. Moose. Never heard of that before. They went from the Kansas City Scouts to the Colorado, to the Colorado Rockies, Rockies to the New Jersey Devils. Oh shit. Wow. Oh my god, I've used that throwback jersey in NHL. Okay. I was all Oh, oh my god, I have two. It's the, it's the blue with the with, with the, the yeah. Yep. Oh my there god. Was an inkling in the sea in my with mind the... that said hockey, but you were so convincing at the beginning, Moose, that it, I it just figured I would have heard of it. That I was like From the right, guy who Moose. first said it's definitely not hockey. <laughs> pulls hockey out of his ass <laughs> for the it's clutch. After none of us All said right. hockey. Yeah. <laughs> After even Bear said definitely not hockey. The animals that, or characters at the front of ships are called what? What's the front of a ship called? A bow? bow. Is that the bow? Yeah. So bow. Something maybe it's it's what's the character called? Yeah, I know, but they're all on the front of the ship. Animals? So, so it's so it's like a gargoyle of a ship. Basically. Any yeah yeah Think any, any lady with the big titties on the front exactly any yeah, she figure called. at the at the front of the ship. Hot. Mommy, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you're watching this, that was for you. <laughs> uh, someone else throw. I got. Someone throw nothing. a term out there. I got ah. nothing. Yeah. Uh, uh, bow figure. Final answer. <laughs> well, <laughs> like it cr- if you had guessed bow maiden, that is what they call uh, the women that are at the front of the ships. Oh, but we're gender inclusive. Maiden, but bow maidens are types of figureheads. Oh, Interesting. makes sense. Question three. Oh, wait, what's it called? Figurehead. Figureheads. Oh, okay. The fine strands from which which animal's undercoat is harvested to produce cashmere? Led Zeppelin. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say camel. <laughs> <laughs> I got plenty to laugh on it. That's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I assume that's some deep cut to a Led it's Zeppelin some, song. It's, it's not even deep. It's yeah. like one of their hits. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, even it's I know like, that song. It's what P. Diddy samples in in, in Godzilla. In Godzilla's Godzilla. song. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm, yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a goat. Okay. Do you guys no, have any yeah. other? No, that I, I would have said sheep right. or something. I don't know. Goat, final answer. That is correct. Great work, boy. Goat pleated. Nice. I now I got the that starting of cashmere in my head. Yeah. The first cows brought to America arrived in which American county in 1611? Has to be Virginia might be the viable answer here. Is Virginia uh, too obvious? Cuz look at the date, right? 16... We're going 1611. Well, I'm just thinking of colonies, and that, I know that was one of the first. 
It, it, I mean, it's got to be the coast, right? They weren't going to bring him over and then have him walk to fucking Pennsylvania. All right, Mama. Sixteen Eleven. On the water. War of. Um. Is it? You know, so you know, you start up there where you live, Mama Moose, right? And then... yeah. that's what. That's what I feel like. Guess, this could yeah. set up Rob for a good shit on on the New England yeah. area. Like, you, you ever go to Old Stormy Village, <laughs> Kilbride? They're all about that stuff. Like the like, and and the women still are the same. Like, huh. at, oh. Yeah. Fuck, I'm really leaning Massachusetts. Yeah, that's we can we can do that. Sure, pleaded. No yeah, Massachusetts. All right, answer. that's fine. Wrong, but if if you said Virginia, mm. I still wouldn't give you credit because the correct answer is Jamestown. Oh, Ooh. see that? Oh, it's okay. colony, not oh. state. Fuck. I don't know much because that was when when I thought about colonies. I was like, oh, Jamestown was one of the first. That was in Virginia. Fucking idiot. Don't worry, Bear has never watch. taught 8th grade social studies in his career. He just <laughs> has it on his license. <laughs> <laughs> the Isle of St. Croix is the territory of which nation? Isn't it Canada? No. I think it's United States. Is it? Is this know. a throwback to the France one from last week? Maybe. See that's that's um, what because you see Saint Croix. Yeah, it looks fresh. Um, uh, right, but Saint Croix Islands, is there's a part of it's part of the Virgin Islands, right? And it's Virgin Islands are United States, right? So I was gonna say uh, I feel like I had an opportunity to teach there, like a, a part of like a, a teach America through borders. Uh, are there are there more Virgin Islands than just the Amer U.S. Virgin Islands? There's is there the a British, British Virgin Islands? Islands? I don't know about. Yeah. Is there a Moose Island? <laughs> what? There's definitely <laughs> British Virgin Islands, though. I don't. I I don't know much. Uh, uh, Moose Virgin Islands is a very lonely place. <laughs> oh, I get it. Uh, uh, well, it took me a while. <laughs> it actually span. It actually spans Boston, Utica, and Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's it's the um, most um, it's the the largest island complex. Yeah, uh, in very in our wall. Very segregated too. I, I feel like, I feel like the U.S. would be the trick trick question here that no one would really think I of don't it. Hate it, Moose. Go yeah, whatever if, your gut is. Yeah? Uh, yeah, United States. Final answer. That is correct. Let's go, Moose. Let's go. No, that was Bear. That was if Bear never said that, wouldn't have thought. Yeah, America. And your bonus wet go back. Sorry. Let me set it up. And your bonus question worth double. 500 points up for grabs. <laughs> really double. Okay, go. Hercule Perot is one of the reoccurring detective characters in which author's series of mystery novels? I mean, the only one I know is Sherlock Holmes. So, fucking. I read Twitter. Um, no <laughs> clue. I, I, I'm a simple farm kid from Kansas. We don't read. Bear. I, I Debbie does say. detective work. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Throw Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes. Final answer. Believe it or not, Sherlock Holmes is a fake character, not an author. Well, the correct answer is apparent, and apparently this is the easiest bonus question I've ever had in the twenty-six uh -oh. weeks. The correct answer is Agatha Christie. Yeah, I've heard I of that don't person. Even know who that is? I'd like to think that you guys have already surpassed yeah. the pace the score. Good for you, chat. Good for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Chat's all over it. Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. That this just lets you know that it has been all of us. <laughs> we sit there. So we head Whatever. into the final impossible round, which are the three hardest questions of the night. Uh, you, have, In my opinion, you have already beaten, if my memory is correct, you've already beaten the uh uh yeah. last week's winners score mm. especially now. when you count the two out of three that um i got right that Moose just <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah um guys i'm gonna yeah. be a four seed in the Plato, pc bracket Plato, we're usually not good when it comes to like the 50 50 questions i feel like we've been pretty decent tonight for that aside from so that let's, first let's head to the impossible round there Kilbred. the three toughest questions here we go 500 points apiece after being brought to 
After originally being brought to America by way of the Port of San Francisco, which crop is now a staple of the Midwestern United States and Canadian agriculture? Has to be corn. Even up in Canada? Sure. Even on the impossible? Um, either that or, or winter wheat. Winter, oh, oh no, maybe winter wheat. It's wheat. It's wheat. Wheat, final answer. We will find out at the end. Number two. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Okay. Which candy received its name from the manufacturer after being unable to consistently make it a smooth, round shape? Received its Ow. name from the manufacturer. Oh, rounds? That would, oh, that would make mounds. sense. Mounds. It's oh, mounds. Oh, mounds. Oh, mounds. Oh, mounds. Oh. Yeah. That's like a good one. I, would, I like mounds. Yeah. I'll yeah. enjoy um, Ma- uh, has nuts and mounds well, don't. Well, let me, let me throw out a few other. Roll mounds, out. raisinets. Yeah, because those do, do not the name, come no. out smooth round. Th- those were my first two thoughts: he mounds and raisinets. Consistently make it a smooth round shape, so it would not be consistent. So I lean towards what Bear's saying because mounds because mounds are right. Round. It would kind of be hard to make. Um, well, Tootsie Rolls are round, but I feel like it'd be hard to get them consistent. consistent. What about yeah. Whoppers? Those are the Whoppers pretty are pretty round, consistent. Though, no. are yeah, I could usually completely perfect though. I could usually put three or four of those balls in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I used to um, at least two people there. <laughs> uh, so should we go with mounds? I like raisinets over. Well, yeah. Like mounds, it's just what is mounds? Is that not a candy bar? Damo man says so can Debbie the yeah, detective it is. there. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it wouldn't be mounds because mounds aren't intended to be round. Oh, it's true. Simply a round shape. Yeah, so, all right. I kind of like the uh, uh, raisinets. Okay, yeah, raisinets. We'll go with for that one. And question three, what the book did Mark this, David yeah. Chapman have in his pocket when he shot John Lennon? Oh. Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. I have You're to setting know it up. One. You're I setting it up for us. I don't know. I have... You can do it pleaded. It's going to be like some stupid kind of joke, right? It's not just like... No, it, it's like... The pocket the version of the of Declaration Oz, of Independence. Yeah. Is the wi- Wizard of Oz a book? I don't. You must have a big it's fucking based on pocket a movie. to get that in there. Um, uh, oh, uh, you I'm gonna start throwing out small pamphlets. Communist Manifesto. <laughs> I got nothing. No. Didn't okay. you guess that? Oh, somebody did get, guess that at uh, this week. There, if you check the teach. Oh, don't school. know. Can't can't come up. Can't come up with it. I'm going to be mad when uh, I. Um, do, uh, do you have when... a guess at least pleaded? Because you'll probably have the best guess out of any of us. Oh yeah, uh, I saw. <laughs> I've had a like, few. So I, my I, buddies and I are texting. Let's go. Um, like man, hey, like 1984, <laughs> Catcher in the Rye. Ooh. Um, Ooh, Catcher um, in the Rye sounds good. Yeah. I like that when you said it. Because it's a small book. <laughs> Have you ever read that, Moose? Fuck you, no. Of course. You, are you the cheese? But what about Animal Farm? That's a George Orwell, right? It, yeah, it is. He's the same like, guy, um, 1985 guy or like, whatever. That was like dystopian. Like, I don't know if that was necessarily... Like, um, I don't know. Right. Like, um, Cat, uh, Catcher, Catcher, Catcher in the Rhyme. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's take us back to question one. Folks, the crop that got initially introduced to the Midwest by way of San Francisco was soybeans. Ooh. Oh, yeah. There oh. you go. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Ah. The number one answer, sorghum. Oh, okay. Sorghum? Which yeah, candy, sorghum. Yeah, which oh, candy received its name from the manufacturer after being unable to consistently make it a round shape? Oops, sorry. Milk duds. Oh, oh, that's a good one. When when pleated said whoppers, I thought of milk duds as the same thing. I don't know. And your third and final impossible question. 
the book that Mark David Chapman had in his pocket when he oh, shot John God. Lennon. And it's a Don't terrible book. Shit. That, that was Kilbride for all you listeners with only audio. <laughs> Clip that, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is, in fact, Catcher in the Rye. Yeah. That brings you to your Big new plated. high score of 55-50. Congratulations, oh, yeah. team. Go. That is your highest score yet. Ooh. Thank you, Plated. Oh, Let's just, go. Please, hold on. Let me bring him back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now take that, you son of a oh, bitch. That's funny. Oh, bravo, yeah. gentlemen. GG's. That was fun. Good, good Fucking time. Thank you very much for bye. the questions, Rob. Look forward to next week, especially with the uh, special, because we'll have the special edition, yeah. right? Yeah. We'll have a supersized round next week. Uh, it's going to be great. I was going to say, yeah. screw TGC. Let's just do trivia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go around the horn, uh, see what's going on the week ahead. Pleated, you you are back here. Are you going to be back on the twitch.tv backslash or forward slash Pleated Pants channel as well? Um, uh, Yeah, probably. Like, we're going to be doing a lot of football. Um, uh, We have, uh, we're, we're, we redid two um, uh, leagues that got Thanos snapped by EA. We did um, a, a CPU fantasy draft and then simulated the first year through the draft. So now we're all starting with a new randomly generated team by the computer. Um, so that will be kind of fun. Um, Jack Wagon's back, like I said before. Um, I got one tournament up right now. The next couple of days, I'm going to try to find some new um, uh, courses to be able to put on and just make like, you know, six or seven weeks worth of stuff because I'm going to be going back and forth between Arkansas and here a lot to help with a pending move of a certain current girlfriend to Iowa. Um, so my schedules will be more erratic here, um, uh, um, uh, henceforth, but I'll let people know on Twitter. Oh, cool. Very, very good. Look forward to seeing more streams, but, uh, even if they are sporadic, always great to have your presence around though. And thank you once again for joining us. Mr. Moose. We've got yeah, some more we, uh, this week. Or uh, Hitman? No, we're, yeah, we're done with that. So we'll be starting the Hitman uh, Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday will be our TGC rounds. Uh, if we make the cut, um, might have to squeeze our B's rounds in here as well. Um, I'm not sure the exact deadlines on those. Uh, times on this, too, might be subject to change. Uh, I am starting a uh, new job again in retail. whoop de doo um so schedule might change uh from week to week uh just to dick sporting goods again uh for that lovely discount um Dicks. yeah okay. other than that shouldn't be uh shouldn't be too much change hopefully i can kind of work out a structure there but that's all i got going on this week very very good and uh bear oh actually bear has a schedule out as well yeah i did get a schedule out that was the first thing i did when i got home was to make sure so we will uh we'll have the normal society nights on tuesday and then friday uh, and this is where the uh I, I might need some help because we're going to play our bees help. match. Our bees match Friday at the beginning. I think what we'll do is we will shout out whoever else is going to be going live that night with their matches. But there has been a request within the den to have two community nights a month. And we will do those on Fridays, and we are going to have a community night Friday. Again, Lucas is bitching for some reason because GeoGuessr might be there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Don't let Lucas know. Uh, uh, again, I'm not going to let him know, but it might be GeoGuessr. It might be... Um, it, it might be Jackbox. Who said the opponent can play then? Me. You want to come <laughs> to the den... You want bear publicity. You want bear to put a video with your name on it. You show up on Friday. How about that, Samo? Huh? I was. It, it, it's it's the sunglasses and the headband. God, that felt so dirty to say. Oh my god. But um, again, if whoever uh, 
wants to adjust that, we can. But and then again, Saturday night special. We'll do plaid on 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 Saturday night. Have some fun. So I got to move a dryer in the morning. Apparently, my buddy don't uh, get stuck. I think he got someone <laughs> stuck in there. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, as far as my Good schedule, brag. it's going to be the same as uh, the past few weeks. Uh, like I said, I've been working on some TikTok content, so I've been posting uh, at least the past few weeks the Red Fast Review course. Been editing that. If you guys want to follow me on uh, on TikTok, I also put it out on YouTube for the YouTube short stuff. Uh, seeing an uptick in views, so ho- hopefully that continues. With uh, trying to really focus on quality over quantity. Uh, so dialing back the uh, quantity a little bit. One thing I'm also working on, I just told Bear actually last night we were chatting, working on a course preview uh, video. I'm going to actually focus on specific courses that are also that are in game as well as real life. So my first one, I'm going to go along with the te- with the uh, real life schedule. So the next one that is in game that is coming up is Tory Pine South. So I figure it might be a cool video to see as you watch the pros play it, as well as you can play it in game. So it kind of targets a little bit of a broader audience. But I'm going to go um, broad scale on that shorter video, probably four to five minutes is the goal. Um, and see see how it comes out. Maybe maybe do that going forward. Um, but uh, figure with the flyovers, the cams, the history at, at some of these courses, it'd be kind of cool to do. So uh, learning some editing techniques along the way, having some fun with it. Alrighty, but uh, we've had a real fun night tonight, um, long one, um, and we have Mr. Killer Bees, as we mentioned uh, at the earlier part of the pod. He is releasing a bunch of news tonight. He's also um, playing some practice rounds tonight, so if you were curious about uh, the Killer Bees match play invitational, the Mad Dash probably already took place and it's probably closed at this point there. That it is. Play. Um, so. It is. I'm, I'm looking at what Pat has uh, put in. Okay. Um, uh, well, let's go. Let's go say hello to Bees. Bees, um, and keep him company as he's playing some practice rounds on what looks like to be the Platt course, Jives' course this week. Um, you also have Matthew PKR um, playing as well. He's playing a Trinity match play. We did help him get to affiliate. Um, so kudos to uh, anyone that helped him over there or. Um, or maybe he was already affiliate. I'm thinking of someone else that we just helped get to affiliate. Or I'm sorry, no, not Matthew PKR. He's also golfing. Uh, Joey Phoenix, uh, Phoenix 2K23. So if you're, you're looking for some other competition, some other golf, um, go over there. But just to get some extra information, let's go over to Bees. I know we go over there a lot. Um, um, but me, Bees is hosting this week. So I want to make sure we give him um, the, the spotlight. Hopefully, we have another successful uh Killabees match play invitational see you guys uh next week love you guys uh. <laughs>